Do you know that 90% of all cloud infrastructure operates on Linux? 96.3% of the world's top 1 million servers run on Linux. In 2021, 100% of the world's top 500 supercomputers run on Linux. Let's host your WordPress on Linux on your Windows 11 tenths PC. Right click on the start menu. Open Windows terminal with administrator right. Using this command to install WSL2. The installation takes some time depends on your internet and PC speed. If you are using Windows 10 version 2004 or later, with the latest Windows updates installed. This command is supported too. If it is not working, you can refer to the link in the description below for manual installation. Restart the computer to continue the installation. The Ubuntu will prompt you for username and password configuration. Configuration completed. Open Windows Terminal again, using this command to check WSL status. WSL should be version 2. Go to docker.com. Download the latest Docker desktop installer. Launch the installer. Make sure the WSL2 option is checked. Log out and log in again to continue the installation. Accept the software terms. Wait until it turns green. Skip the tutorial, then click the gear icon for settings. You can choose to start the docker when you sign in. Make sure you are using WSL2 based engine. In resources, WSL integration, turn on for Ubuntu. Then click the apply and restart button. Click the advanced in the menu. You can use .wsl config to limit the CPU core and RAM usage. Go to user directory. Create the file .wsl config. Let me show you mine as an example. For example, I limit for a maximum of 2 GB and a single processor for WSL2. Docker Compose lets us define the images, so we can host WordPress locally or web, easily and consistently. For our case, we need to customize the Engine X and WordPress images. So, we need to create the Docker file to instruct Docker to build the image accordingly. Assume you have installed the Visual Studio code, if not, pause the video and download it. Click the extension icon. Search for WSL. Choose this, Remote, WSL, from Microsoft. Then click Install. Close the VS Code, and bring up the Windows Terminal again. Type WSL to start the Windows subsystem for Linux. Create our project directory, WordPress, in the Linux user home directory. You can browse the folder in Windows Explorer using this path. In Ubuntu, Home, then, the folder with your username. The folder we created just now is here. Create a shortcut for it. Change directory to our project folder. Start working in the folder with VS Code. You can see the WSL on the folder root. Create the environment file .env. Copy the content from my GitHub gist. Change the root password. Change the WordPress database username and password. Save it. We can also turn on auto save feature. Use the command to create the folder for Engine X configurations.
Create the file, enginex.config. Again, copy the content from my GitHub gist. There are three server blocks. The first server block is the default HTTP port with HTTPS redirection. The next block is the config for the WordPress application via PHP FPM. For HTTPS config, it is defined in the security.config. The last block is the config for the PHP My Admin application via PHP FPM. For HTTPS config, it is also defined in the security.config. Now, create the security.config which is included in the engine x.config. Copy the content from my GitHub gist. Next, we need to generate the self-signed cert that is defined here. Use the command to create the folder for engine x docker file. Create the docker file in the newly created folder. Install the docker extension, if it is not installed yet. Copy the engine x docker file content from my github gist. We derive the custom image from engine x, stable alpine. Then install the open SSL to generate a self-signed certificate for localhost. Continue, we use the command to create the folder for WordPress docker file. Create the docker file in the created WordPress folder. Copy the WordPress docker file content from my GitHub gist. This step might be optional. It is used to resolve permission issues on the WSL while editing files. Also, create a uploads.ini file for changing the PHP upload settings. Copy the content from my GitHub gist. Finally, the last file defines and connects all your services. Create docker compose.yaln in the project root folder. Copy the content from my GitHub gist. There are four services, DB, WordPress, Web Server, and PHP My Admin. The volumes define the persistent storage for our application. The networks define the interconnection of the stated services. This defines my SQL 8.0 image in configuring the root password and database name. This is WordPress Docker image with PHP FPM, but we customize it with Docker file due to the file permission issues. This section defines necessary WordPress related configurations. Also, mapping the WordPress directory and uploads.ini to override the default PHP configurations. Make sure the database name is matched with what you defined. After we launch our container, the WordPress folder will appear in the project root, which is mapped to the HTML folder in the server. This is the Nginx server which is the window for all web applications. It reads the configurations that we set previously to serve the PHP FPM of WordPress and PHP My Admin. We also create the Docker file to customize our version of the image for HTTPS support. We need to define the port and the network aliases for it. This is for you to manage and view the MySQL database and web interface. It reads the root password from what you defined in the .env file. Everything is ready for now. Open the Windows terminal, start your WSL. Go into your project root directory. Start your container with this command. If the download fails, just run the command again.
All done. Then, allow access for the firewall. Open the dashboard of the Docker desktop, you can see it is up and running. Open your favorite browser now. Enter URL, https colon double slash, localhost. You should get the warning due to the self-signed certificate. Ignore the warning and proceed, by clicking advanced, then proceed. You should see the WordPress language selection. Provide your site title, username, password, and email address. Log in with the data you set just now. Congrats! Your WordPress site is up and running. Start playing around with themes and plugins. Enter PHP my admin URL, https colon double slash, localhost colon 8080. Log in with the username and password set in the .env file. For the beginner, I do not suggest modifying database data directly. You can bring down the container using this command. Don't worry about your data, it is stored inside the persistent volumes here. Thanks for watching. Please press the like button and subscribe to my channel and click the bell to turn on the new video notification. See you all soon. Thank you.